Hey roadies, this is Adriana from Roadie Free Radio. In this episode, we hear from Larry Martin, founder and owner of Tour Supply. From supplying cruise ships with keyboards and tambourines to supplying shows with gear across the United States, Larry makes sure to give the highest quality and quickest turnaround in the industry. His company has even gone on to save shows. Want to know how he does it? Stay tuned for the full episode, number 156, from February 4th, 2020. Thank you for listening, and thank you for subbing. Enjoy the show. So you've been doing this, basically, for a long time. And I wonder if you've got, for the other, you know, young entrepreneurs out there that might be listening, you know, what's your what's your quick three-point bullet list <laughs> of of starting and running your own business <clears throat> surviving survival man it's tough it's tough you know it's um it's not you know, it's not easy we're uh payroll comes due every two weeks rent comes due every month <laughs> yeah and uh people want to get paid for the stuff that you're buying uh you, you, you got to have some, well, patience and yeah, if you can let, you know, it's kind of, I, my philosophy, it's, it's, it's going to get better. The next, you know, there's, there's some downtimes and the downtimes are, are tough. Yeah. Uh, cause there's not a lot of tours going out in November and December. Right. And now it used to be the tours would go out in April. And it used to be where you could have some time to ramp up and get product in. Well, now, January, the, usually it's like now the past few years, it's been January. So to ramp up is really difficult to mm. get all the products in that you need to take care of all the road crew and all the bands. Yeah. So I advice i don't know man uh we got we got by without a line of credit for a long time but as we grew the business and opening more shops then you start then you got to start getting help from the bank right and i don't really like that because <laughs> uh, for many I, i'm sure it was 10 or 12 years we we had no help from the bank it was right. credit cards right that's and then that's that is not a good idea either. But right. that's what right. we did, and we paid right. them off. We tried to pay them off every month, so it was good. <clears throat> yeah. But I guess don't get into the rut of debt. Yeah. Even though it's hard, to, it's not hard. It's hard, but yeah, that's a good. That's some good advice. But so the key there, the cornerstone that I took away is uh, is that it's going to get better. You said. How do yeah, you, because how do you uh, maintain the bands are going to because uh, it, February is coming. And the money's going to be coming in. Right. That's, you know, uh, telling my purchasing guy, telling my accounts payable people, telling, hey, it's going to get better. Just hang in there. Hang in there. We're going to get through this. You know, it's yeah. we, we go through this every year. I know, but it's, I know, but, but we don't, you know, it's, I know, it's December. Come on. <laughs> and this, this is what I say every, this is what I've been saying for 20 years. Hang in there. Yeah. It's going to get better. Yeah. January's, April's coming, you know, March is coming, February's coming, <laughs> January's coming. Now it's January. Right. And that's the whole thing is it gets back to January, October 31st, November sucks. TSO yeah. goes out. We love TSO. Yeah. <laughs> they, they kind of save the, they kind of save, save our ass a little bit. You know? Right. I mean, I hate to say that, but to rely on you know, and then we deal with also we deal with cruise comp cruise ships, right? Princess Cruises, and right. you know they called me one day and said, uh, "I understand you can get anything to any place in the world you know, in a, overnight or in, in a day's notice. Uh, any, can you do that? Can you can you get that to ports ports of call? Yeah, I don't see why not. I do it with bands every day. They're only there for one day. Well, here's an order. So we get an order for one month." two orders the next month, three orders. And all of a sudden now we're getting orders once a week for these princess cruises, the cruise ships. What are you supplying the cruise ships with? Tambourines, keyboards, oh, okay. mic, uh, mic stands, uh, music stands, wow. tape, batteries, cables, connectors. 
Man. You know? Yeah. Touring touring kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some instruments. <clears throat> Are you have you been the kind of guy who, you know, when you're driving home, you're thinking of how to it, Thinking of all the angles, you know, or are you, or are you more like, I'm just going to stay in my lane. It's going to get better. I'm just, this is what I focus on. This is what I do. You know, or is it like, oh man, I could branch into this and I could get into that and I could service this and that. Um, I could be more competitive if, you know. I had a business partner hmm. and that's, that's what he did. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to... I don't want to be in a position to say anything bad about my, sure. but he, uh, it was unfortunate because he wasn't happy with just tour supply. And it was yeah. unfortunate because we, all we, he, we, we should have really been concentrating on growing tour supply and not getting into amplifiers. We, mm -hmm. So if we saw these triangle amps, third power, it seemed like a good idea to build one, saw one. That was a good thing. But then it turned into, no, let's build 50 at a time. Mm. Not a good idea. Right. So that, that business failed. We had some, we we're, we experimented with some other businesses uh, like about every three or four years and it just didn't work. Yeah. Um, but you kind of have to go through that in, in some degree, right? To see, yeah, because you kind of never know. It's like playing the lottery. It, it it's is. Like, oh and, shit, that might and work. It had and it had something to do with the business, <clears throat> but I really felt, I think what we really should have Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I really think the the emphasis or the concentration should have been on tour supply, maybe with more of the e-commerce stuff, mm. uh, building, you know, getting more involved with the websites, the right. e-commerce, and those kind of things should have been taken priority. Yeah. Um, so well, the last thing he did was the the install business. He wanted okay. to get into the install business. Yeah. And I go, no. I did that. Yeah. No, I don't want to ever do that again. Uh, right. I, I'm I'm very proud of of the work I did. Yeah. But you don't want to go. Damn, back. man. I uh, no, I did right. that. <laughs> yeah. Not a, no. I found the cool niche. I found this niche yeah. Yeah. that I like. Let's you. I said, Lance, you take that. Mm -hmm. I'll take tour supply. I'll 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 pay you off. Whatever you you know whatever right. needs to be done. Right. But you take that. You take that and run with it because it sounds like you really enjoy that. Yeah. So I've done it. You go do it. Did you, were you, the again, back to sort of the, the what type of entrepreneur you've been, <clears throat> were you accepting of the new technology of e-commerce as it came, of websites? And you know what I mean? As things, as the business landscape shifted. Right, not yeah, just the rock and roll business, but like, are you were you like one of those guys who's like ah technology? No, not at all. No. But um, unfortunately, we fortunately we got into it really. We got into it twenty years ago, right away. Yeah, you know right when we started the company. Yeah. Unfortunately, we mm -hmm. haven't had the monies to grow it. Yeah. And that's it's always that catch twenty two, right? Right, <laughs> and un, un, and unfortunately, we were investing into other. Things, things yeah which no 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 but i but but yes i'm all i'm i've always been about that but it needs to be mm -hmm. uh we need to modernize our website i guess it's right. it seems to be doing okay yeah but that's it it's it's just it's just kind of okay and i think that the uh it's easy enough for the people that we are dealing with i mean we're not really open we're not really dealing with the consumers the general sure. public so the production managers or the, or the production assistants want to buy some gaff tape online. Boom, they click, they click. There it is. Right, right. Or it seems like people still like to call tour supply. Hey, what's happening, roadies? It's Larry here. Just wanted to thank you so much for listening to this short clip. I really hope you got something out of it. If you can take two seconds to head over to iTunes and drop us a review or a comment, we would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Keep listening. Keep coming back. Stay healthy out there. And remember, no roadies, no rock and roll.